It's time for the Illini Update. The men's basketball team opened Big Ten play at Purdue where they lost a back and forth game to the Boilermakers 68 to 61. Senior guard Brandon Paul had 15 points to lead the Illini. On Saturday, 11th ranked Illinois came back to the assembly hall where they faced number eight Ohio State in front of a packed house. Paul led the Illini with 19 and sophomore center Nana Egwu had a season high 16 as Illinois ran away with a 74 to 55 win. It was Illinois' largest victory over a top 10 Big Ten opponent since 1954. Coming up, the team will take on Minnesota and Champaign on Wednesday, January 9th. The squad will then travel to Madison to take on Wisconsin on Saturday, January 12th. The women's basketball team dropped a 67-66 overtime thriller to number 14 Purdue on January 2nd. Senior Adrian Godbold notched her first career double-double with 20 points and 11 assists. The Orange and Blue bounced back with a 79-73 victory over Ohio State, which was ranked 24th in the USA Today Coaches Poll on Sunday. Senior forward Charisma Penn finished with a career-high 34 points, including a school record 16 free throws and 12 rebounds on the afternoon as Illinois ended the Buckeyes' 31-game home win streak. Coming up, the team will head to Evanston to take on Northwestern on Thursday, January 10th, before returning to the Assembly Hall for Pack the Hall against Michigan State on Sunday, January 13th. After winning the 2012 Midlands Championships, the wrestling team started 2013 by improving to 4-0 on the year-end duels by rolling over UT Chattanooga 29-10 on Sunday. Senior B.J. Futrell put the Illini on board with his eighth pin of the season, and after moving up a weight class, redshirt freshman Jeff Kepke won his first dual match to give the Illini the victory. Coming up, the team returns to Huff Hall on Friday, January 11th to take on Purdue at 7 o'clock. For more information on Illini athletics, check out fightingillini.com.